Hey ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Mel Herbert here. Uh, the show is Talking Tesla. We're in the bar area again. People have asked, why do you shoot in the bar area when you have a perfectly good studio with cameras and lighting and all that stuff just upstairs? Uh, well, the only way I can explain it is that uh, I'm an Australian of Irish descent and I'm comfortable in the bar. So the videos are coming from the bar area for now. It's nothing to do with the fact that I can actually shoot it here by myself a lot easier than upstairs. But I don't know how to use the equipment upstairs. But I do know how to use an iPhone. Anyway, the Tesla truck event is coming. It's Thursday, reservations are out, uh, emails have been sent. It's at seven o'clock, doors open. Beep, shardies, sliders. Tom's gonna be there, Robert's gonna be there. I'm gonna be here assuming that they're doing a live stream and we will show that live stream, have a little discussion before, have a little discussion afterwards, maybe hopefully even get to talk uh, live to Tom and Robert who are gonna be at the event and checking it out. So what do we know about this event? What do we know about the Tesla Semi? And what needs to be revealed? Or what do we think will be revealed at this event? First of all, we know that this is described as a heavy duty all electric truck. We know that the guy that's running this program is called Jerome Gillian. And he actually comes from Daimler where he built some beautiful trucks over there. So this is a big guessing game, but what do we expect? Well, we expect a truck we expect that it's going to pull a lot of stuff. Uh, Elon has suggested that this truck is so strong it can pull other trucks and it can even pull them uphill and do crazy things like that. So it's going to have an enormous amount of torque. It's going to be perfect. These electric motors are going to be perfect for carrying a lot of stuff around. We are divided, when I say we, the sort of uh, the universe of the Tesla people, are divided as to whether this is going to be a short haul truck or a long haul truck. Short haul as in two or three hundred miles. Um, a lot of people think that's the sweet spot because that's where most of the trucking occurs from the ports into the cities, around the cities. That's really where the volume is. Long haul trucking is obviously also very important, but for a number of reasons we'll get into in a minute, it's probably less likely that they'll do that kind of a truck. Do we know what this thing's gonna look like? Well, there've been some teaser pictures like the ones you see here. There's also been some spy shots, which I was initially skeptical of, but maybe actually could be real, so I think this truck is gonna look great. But do the trucking companies care how it looks? And the answer is that I think pretty much everybody agrees with this, not so much. What trucking companies care about is how much does it cost to use this vehicle to move stuff from one place to another? If Tesla can reduce the cost of moving stuff from one place to another by using electricity instead of diesel, by using electric motors instead of internal combustion engine motors, then they'll buy them and they'll buy them by the ton. But they'll buy hundreds of thousands of them. And so Tesla should be able to do that, right? Because electricity costs less than diesel in most places, by a lot, and maintenance will be less. And so they should be able to, because now they've got the price of those batteries down so much, amortized over time, it should cost a lot less to move stuff around with an electric truck than with uh, an internal combustion engine. And so that's why if they do that one thing, if they just do that one thing, and they get the form factor kind of right, then they'll sell as many of these as they can possibly make. And if you add to that, you've reduced the cost because you're using electricity, you're using electronics, you have less maintenance. If you add autopilot to the mix, and now you get rid of the poor, unfortunate driver who's now out of a job, you can reduce the cost even more. So this could be substantial if you can add autopilot. So we'll all be looking to see, are they gonna talk about autopilot in these trucks? And they have to. But here's the problem. It's probably not just going to be take Autopilot 2.5 and the same software and chuck it into a truck and it'll be all good. Trucks are bigger. They have different physics. They'll need more cameras. They take a long time to stop. So it'll have to be a significant tweaking, is my guess, from Autopilot 2.5, which itself isn't that great even now. So it's important, but I don't see it on a time frame of uh, the next year or two. This might be a longer time frame to get Autopilot for this truck up and running. Be longer. Let me tell you now why I don't think it's gonna be one of these long range trucks that can go a thousand miles like some of the traditional trucks that are out there that are interstate cross country kind of trucks. The simple reason I don't think it's gonna be that is the question of where are you gonna charge it? You would need another supercharger network to make that reasonable. If you're gonna go from Los Angeles to Montana, Montana to New York, you have to charge even if you've got a thousand mile range, even if you put a gigantic battery in this thing. Where are you gonna charge that truck? You can't just use the current supercharger network because one, it'll take too long to charge, and two, you're gonna take up all the stalls and tick off all the Model X, S, and Model 3 owners. 
So you'd have to set up a whole new charging infrastructure. And to me, that's the single biggest reason why I don't think this is gonna be a really long haul truck for now. I think that comes later, but I think it has to come with some kind of a supercharging network. I might be wrong, but I think so. And uh, then the next thing is, what else could we expect at this event? Well, they're gonna talk about the truck, I think they're going to talk about the charging, they're going to talk about its range, they're going to talk about how great it is, how much better it is. But I think actually we're going to hear about more than the truck tonight. I think we're also going to obviously hear about Puerto Rico and what they're doing with Tesla Energy and how this all fits together. We're going to hear a little bit about Solar City and how this all fits together. But I wouldn't be surprised if there's also a bit of a teaser for the pickup truck, or the ute, as Australians would call it. I think this is the perfect time to say, and here's the truck, and here's its specifications, and guess what? Here is the pickup truck that you all want and do a little bit more teasing about what that could be. And you might also get a little tease about the Model Y. So another big question is for the truck, when will we see it? Well, because of the problems we've seen in the production of the Model 3, that's not going to get up to scale for at least another year. You're not going to see this truck for at least a year. And I suspect, and many people suspect, you're not going to see this truck on the road for at least two years. And what I'm really interested in is, is, you know, truck, uh, Model Y, uh, pickup, how do you do which one of those first? Why would you do one before the other? Model Y is gonna be an enormous hit. It's gonna be bigger than Model 3. A Tesla pickup truck is also gonna be a huge hit. A Tesla truck is a big deal, but it's not gonna sell as much. Is it gonna make as much? What about the amount of pollution of, uh, that they can sort of prevent, because this is all about getting us to, you know, as clean a place as we can. How do you decide which one of those three to do? There's a lot of variables there. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, um, the event is Thursday. Lots will be answered. We'll be streaming live. Tom and Robert will be there. We're excited about this. There's a lot of things we don't know that we hope we'll hear about. I'll be streaming it live and uh, we'll talk to you all on Thursday. I'm excited. There is no doubt. It's going to be an exciting event.